Hi, my name is Meredith. I'm the customer success representative at Wolfie Metalworks. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to properly install your pulley system as provided by Wolfie Metalworks. It's important to remember that everything having to do with aerial arts is inherently dangerous. So please make sure that you fully understand your instruction manual provided by Ludwig Goppenheimer at the damnhot.com website and all the instructions provided by Wolfie Metalworks as well as the instruction manual that you received when you purchased your pulley system. If at any point in time you find that you have a question or a comment, please just give me an email, a call, or a text at the information provided to you here. I'll do my best to be available to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Step one is read through your entire instruction manual provided by Wolfie Metalworks. If you have trouble finding your instruction manual, shoot me an email, a call, or a text and we'll make sure to get you a copy. Step two, lay out all your equipment according to the diagram. Check each item individually for any damage or if you have any items missing. If you find that an item is damaged or missing, please refrain from setting up your aerial rig and contact customer service as soon as possible. Make sure you have three eye bolts installed to your header. If you don't, check the Ludwig aerial rig instruction manual for how to install the eye bolt. Please make sure you're making use of a proper swivel no matter which apparatus you are using. Clip on three carabiners, one on each of the three eye bolts. These are automatic locking D-shaped carabiners. Make sure the wider part of the carabiner is facing the floor and the gate opens also towards the floor. Step four, clip two single pass pulleys onto the outermost carabiners. Make sure the carabiner goes through two plates on the pulley. Clip one double pass pulley to the middle carabiner. For the double pass pulley, clip this carabiner through three plates, the black plate, the center plate, and the outer red plate. There should be one center plate with a hole left sticking out the bottom of the pulley. Step six, run the rope through. In the beginning, Uncoil your rope completely before you get started. Choose a side of your header to start running your rope through one single pass pulley. Bring the rope into one side of your double pass pulley. Create a basketball size loop around your double pass pulley and then thread the rope back through the other side of the double pass pulley. Maintain a basketball size loop in your rope as you pull the rope all the way through. <music> Lastly, thread your rope through the opposite side single pass pulley. While maintaining your basketball size loop, Pull the rope all the way through until the midpoint of the rope is at the bottom of the loop on the double pass pulley. Check to make sure that both sides of the rope are about equal to each other to verify that you have it centered. Step seven, place your fourth single pass pulley onto your rope at the bottom of your basketball size loop. Slide the two plates apart, place the rope onto the pulley, then close the plates. Step 
Step 8. Clip the fourth carabiner onto the single pass pulley at the bottom of the loop. Make sure the wider part of the carabiner is facing the floor. This is the point from which you will hang your apparatus. Go ahead and clip your apparatus onto the carabiner now. Make sure you're making use of a proper swivel and that all your carabiners are positioned properly. Step 9. Follow the instructions provided by Wolfie Metalworks to set up the Ludwig aerial rig completely. As the aerial rig goes up, keep an eye on the pulley system equipment. Make sure the rope stays even and does not slide out of any of the pulleys. Allow the apparatus to stay on the ground. That should help the rope to stay aligned. Do not let either end of the rope fly out of reach. Step 10. Install the tie-off cleats. Choose two aerial rig feet diagonal from each other to install the tie-off cleats. In order to distribute the forces evenly, you must choose two legs that are as far apart from each other as possible. Choose one tie-off cleat that will mostly stay secured. The other can be the one you untie frequently in order to make your adjustments. Follow the directions provided by Wolfie Metalworks to install the tie-off cleats. Step 11. Tie off one end of the rope. Take your rope down one side of your aerial rig leg. Drag the rope underneath the cleat on one side, pulling it tight from the very beginning. Wrap your rope over the aerial rig foot in a figure eight shape wrap four total times. Pull this rope as tight as you can throughout this entire tie off process. For your fifth wrap, drag the tail of your rope underneath the active part, creating a hitch. Pull your hitch onto your cleat as tight as possible. Create another hitch on the other side. Give one last pull to the rope as hard as you can. Make sure you have at least three to four feet of tail after your tie off. If you ever notice this extra length of rope slipping or reducing in any way, cease all aerial activity and redo your tie off on that cleat. Always check your wraps daily before doing any aerial activity. Step 12. Choose the height of your apparatus point. Using the open rope on the other side, choose the height you want for your apparatus. Pull the rope to raise the apparatus, let the rope out to lower the apparatus. Remember, it is not recommended to raise or lower the apparatus while any living being is on the apparatus. Please keep in mind, any lightweight apparatus may not be heavy enough to pull itself down. Do not allow any lightweight apparatus to get out of your reach. Step 13, tie off the rope on the opposite side. Take the rope down the leg, make sure to hold the spot that correlates with the desired height of your apparatus. Once you have your apparatus at the height you want, tie off the rope on this side by following step 11. Take one final look at your entire system, check your tie-offs, look at the rope, make sure there are no twists in the rope or anywhere else, 
before you take flight. Last but not least, bring in an eight inch thick safety mat and enjoy your aerial rig. Once you're finished with all your aerial activity, remove your apparatus and the swivel. Take the remaining carabiner, pull it down one side of the aerial rig leg. Look up, make sure there are no twists in the rope before you fasten the aerial point. Put the carabiner on one side of the tie-off cleat. Take the rope down the other side of the tie-off cleat. Do two figure eight wraps and one hitch on either side to secure your system. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions whatsoever.